FPGAs are integrated circuits although they have certain distinctive features which make them different from ASICs. In today's episode, we will do a comparative study on ASIC and FPGA. If you want to know in detail, stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's start our journey with definitions of FPGA and ASIC. So, what is FPGA? Field Programmable Gate Array is abbreviated as FPGA. It's an integrated circuit and unlike ASIC, it can be configured after fabrication as per customer need. Hence, the name Field Programmable is used. It can work as a microprocessor or as an encryption unit or graphics card or even all these. FPGA consists of configurable logic blocks or CLBs connected with programmable interconnects. The configurable logic blocks are primarily made up of lookup tables, multiplexers and flip-flops. They can implement complex logic functions. Apart from configurable logic blocks and routing interconnects, many FPGAs also contain dedicated hard silicon blocks designed for various dedicated functions such as block RAM, DSP blocks, external memory controllers, PLLs, multi-gigabit trans receiver, etc. Another emerging trend is inclusion of a hard silicon processor core inside the same FPGA die itself. In such a case, the processor takes care repetitive non-critical task and the FPGA takes care of high speed acceleration. Next, what is ASIC? Application specific integrated circuit is abbreviated as ASIC. ASICs are integrated circuits designed for a specific application and the chip follow or execute same function throughout its lifetime. There is no change or alteration. For example, the CPU inside a phone or a laptop is an ASIC. It's designed and fabricated to act as a CPU for whole of its lifetime. Its logical functioning will remain unchanged as the whole gate level design is permanently fabricated with MOSFETs and metal interconnects on physical silicon wafer. In ASIC flow, everything starts with specification and after all the steps, the design is transferred on the silicon as millions of MOS devices and metal interconnects between them. Now, let's discuss the similarities and differences between FPGA and ASIC. FPGA is reconfigurable circuit. FPGAs can be reconfigured with a different design. In some FPGAs, it's possible to reconfigure a part in a particular way whereas the rest of the chip is functional. ASIC has permanent circuitry. Once the application specific circuit is stepped out into silicon, it cannot be changed. The circuit will work same for its complete operating life. There is one similarity between ASIC and FPGA. In both cases, designs are specified generally using hardware description languages or VHDL such as VHDL or Verilog. The NRE or non-recurring engineering cost for ASIC is high due to custom design and development and cost of masks. These costs could potentially reach millions of dollars. FPGAs on the other hand have no NRE costs. FPGA is not suited for very high volume mass production whereas ASIC is suited for very high volume mass production. Because of mass production, the end product reaches customer hand in reasonable price. For an example, if you consider the kind of effort and process requires in launching a new phone in market is huge. A phone is as smart as its processor. Obviously, the cost related to it is also huge starting from design, fabric launching, digital promotion, hiring a star brand ambassador, the total final cost for a batch of smartphone is unimaginable for a common consumer although it's within reach of a common man. Just think for a while. Just because mass production, the end product become purchasable in terms of money. FPGA is usually less energy efficient and operates in limited operating frequency compared to ASIC in similar process nodes. ASICs are much more power efficient than FPGAs. In ASICs, power consumption can be controlled and optimized very precisely. In advanced applications, ASIC solution for less leakage and high speed performance are different thus concentrating on one at a time. Node is also selected as per application. ASIC fabricated using the same process node can run at much higher frequency than FPGAs since its circuit is optimized for its specific function. Analog designs are not possible with FPGAs. Although FPGAs may contain specific analog hardware such as PA 
PLLs, ADC, etc. They are not much flexible as it can have complete analog circuitry. For example, Wi-Fi transceiver on same die along with microprocessor cores. This is the advantage which FPGAs lack. Time to market is a great deciding factor when it comes to business viability. Time to market is much lesser in case of FPGA with respect to ASIC. FPGAs don't require layout or mask so the overall production time is less. They are reprogrammed in the field as per need so there is less need to perform test and verification. ASIC design is more complex. Custom design is often required due to the complexities and customizations in design at every step more time requires starting from learning, designing, testing and verification. Eventually the time to market become longer. ASIC is designed for one functionality so the number of gate and hence the size optimized. FPGAs are designed for multifunctionality and hence usually larger in size. FPGAs are suitable for applications where the design need to be upgraded for better algorithm or better design such as radar, cell phone, base stations, etc. Here programmability is the deciding factor. ASICs are not suited for applications where the design need upgradation frequently. FPGAs are preferred for prototyping and validating a design or concept. Even many ASICs are prototyped using FPGAs. Major processor manufacturers use FPGAs to validate their system on chips. It's easier to make sure design is working correctly as intended using FPGA prototyping. Although ASIC is not recommended to prototype a design. Once the silicon has been taped out, almost there is no way to fix a design bug. FPGA process doesn't require backend design. Everything is handled by synthesis and routing tools. So, designers make sure the circuit works as per RTL code and meets timing. ASIC designers need to take care for everything like RTL, synthesis, floor planning, PNR, layout, timing, closure, etc. Each step of flow is handled by different specialist team. Well, these are the differences between ASIC and FPGA. Depending on requirement and priority, one need to choose wisely between ASIC and FPGA. If an application need flexibility for future update or budget is low and require low volume production, FPGA is the solution. Whereas if the application required high speed performance or it is power sensitive or high volume production is required, it's an analog circuitry, then ASIC is the solution. FPGA field have good scope of work. Few of our ex-colleague work in that domain. Some of them are our seniors. Me and Mridul got trained by them in our very first job. They have excellent programming skill, great at doing RTL coding. If you are good at programming, RTL coding, proficient in Verilog, VHDL, more inclined in front end can look for job in FPGA. That is all for this episode. Hope this episode will help you. Please add your comment and feel free to ask questions. Also, don't forget to visit our technology blog, techsimplifiedtv.in. We will be back with another episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.